Hi, if you've already done the first couple of these tutorials, the animating arrows and dots and dashes, it's time to move on to multicolored arrows. So we're going to end up with uh, several types, but for the moment a gradient arrow such as this one. Now this is probably something like what you have at the moment. So we're going to select the head layer. We're going to go up to where it says Fill, because the head only has a fill. We're going to select Linear Gradient. OK. Now the first thing you'll notice is that there is a gradient appears up in this box. And this shape appears here. When you, go, uh, when you put your cursor over the end, you'll see a little dot appears. Drag that dot to the end of the bounding box. Go back and it will turn into another dot and drag that dot to the beginning of the bounding box. That will place the gradient going from that point, the beginning point, to the end point. You can move that in if you want more of the end colour. And the same thing of course with the um, start colour. You can also spin the gradient around. You can also reverse the gradient by placing the end at the beginning and the beginning at the end. Moving on to the shape layer shaft, which is only a stroke. Select stroke, select linear gradient. Press OK. It's the same thing here. You have the beginning of it, so you take that to the beginning of the bounding box. You have the end, it turns into a dot, take that to the end of the bounding box. And now the gradient is running the whole length of the shaft. Select the gradient. Here is where you can add or change colours. You click underneath to add a colour stop. You can then select the colour. Click to add another stop. Select the colour. And you can always delete a stop by pressing the delete button when that stop is highlighted. I'll click this and just add a bit of something or other. A bit of that would be fine right but never mind. Press OK. Having done that, when the arrow head moves it will be revealing the gradient. If you want the gradient to move with the arrow, open your shape layer, contents, gradient stroke 1, toggle that open, You'll see there's a couple of things here, including the start point and the end point. For your end point, create a keyframe. Then, select the layer and press U and you'll see all the keyframes that are on that layer. The end point of your trim paths, go to it and move the, the end point keyframe to it. Go back to the beginning of the trim paths. Now select the end point and drag it across so that the end point joins up with the arrow and you have the whole gradient. This way as the arrow moves the gradient grows with it. Moving right along, to get striped arrows first thing to do is to take your shaft in this case and control command d to duplicate uh, in this case we have three colors what you then do is go up to the top layer select your color where it says stroke color and then lower the pixel number so that you've got the fine stroke for the middle on the layer underneath that same thing change your color and change your stroke width and you will end up with something like that. 
Going on to lines, a little bit more complicated. Again, change the colours of your shape layers and add a dash. Now, in this particular case, the dashes are both set at 32 with an offset of 8 on the top dash only. You'll see that as you change the offset, you can get various effects. You can, of course, keyframe those. You can also add a gap, which will do different things and give you a slightly more interesting but irregular pattern. Moving on to dots, the shape layer head here, and this is something worth knowing about. If you select the gradient fill, then you'll see that you get the uh, end and start points. In this particular case, it's a radial fill, and you can also, if you have a look at the gradient here, you'll see it's just over at the very edge. The layers, shape layer one, are just dots. The layer under that are the extended dots. And the layer under that is just a straight line. The main thing with the lines and dots and dashes and shapes is to experiment depending on the particular arrow that you're drawing. Next time we'll be looking at using Illustrator brushes. So until then, have fun.